you guys welcome to my channel it's sarah here and in this video i'm going to show you how i make this really cute bird with matching birdhouse activity pages it's really cute it comes with different colored birds and their little wings kind of flap and little kids can remove them and match them up with their correct birdhouse and i make it so they can kind of tuck them inside now i did not come up with this activity page like the idea for it i have seen all sorts of different bird and birdhouse color themed activity pages i don't even know who to credit who originally designed this um just because i've seen so many from so many different makers but this is my design and my version of it um and i have these three little optional buttons that you can sew on as well also i'm really sorry if you can hear any sort of banging right now or throughout this video at all that is because the siding on my home is currently being all taken off and redone so there's a lot of banging and I was gonna postpone this video but I just thought what the heck let's get it done um, if you want a free printable version of this template I will have that available on my website if you just want to put one together for your child or for a friend's baby or whoever you can use that I also have the template that I use to create this page in bulk I typically make 10 copies of this page at a time. I've shared that on my Patreon, the exact template that I use if you have a cutting machine and if you're wanting to make these in bulk. Let me show you what that looks like and then we'll get into how we put it together. Here's my Patreon where I post all the bulk templates that I use myself for creating these activity pages to sell at craft shows. And if you join this, you do need to have a cutting machine. I use a Cricut, but any kind of fabric cutting machine will work. So here is what the color reference page for the birdhouse activity page looks like. So this shows you all the cutouts that you will do on a 12 inch by 12 inch cutting mat. And so if you click on the arrow and you scroll through the images, you just right click on the image, click save image as, and then you save it as a JPEG onto your computer and you upload that onto into your cutting machine. In the caption of each photo, it will tell you the dimensions in both centimeters and inches of what you need to adjust it to. So the way that I've set out this template is it cuts out for sets of 10 pages. So you can make 10 copies at once. So this first template is in black. It gives all the little birdhouses, the tree holes and the, the birdhouse rooftops and little doors, all this cut out in black that will cut out enough for 10 copies. This one you're gonna cut out in red, orange, yellow, blue, and purple. That will be all the birds and all the birdhouses. Again, enough to make 10 copies. This is just some leaves. I cut mine in light green and dark green and it just cuts out a whole bunch, probably more than enough for 10. Oops, where'd the rest go? Um, and then these are for the tree trunks. Again, you'll cut this in brown and that will cut out enough for 10 copies. And again, it's all meant, each of these will fit on a 12 inch by 12 inch sheet of felt. Um, and here are the tree tops themselves in green. You can cut out four at a time. I wish I could fit more on there, but I can only fit four. Uh, so you'd have to cut out at least three um, to get enough to make 10. Well, that's my bulk template all ready for you to save and get cutting right away. Okay, let's get started. As per usual, I'm starting off with my eight inch by eight inch sheet of stiff Korean 1.2 millimeter felt and I'm using light blue. I have this available to purchase on my website in this size if you're interested in. It's really nice felt. I'm gonna start off by sewing on my tree in place. And next I'm gonna hot glue my trunk in place. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue the, de the black details onto each of the birdhouses. And then I'm going to hot glue my little houses in place, but I'm not going to hot glue them totally down, just along the edges and the bottom. I'm going to leave the top part open so that kids can tuck the little birds in behind their color matched um, birdhouse. I'm also going to hot glue on this little black tree hole. And then I'm going to hot glue two copies of each bird together and I'm also going to hot glue on their little wing on just on one side of the bird. And I made it so that half the birds are going to be facing one way and half facing the other because they're, the wing is only glued on one side and I'm only going to draw the beak and the eye on one side. I'm gonna just take a black Sharpie marker and color in their beaks and their eyes. 
Okay, then I'm gonna take my sewing machine and I'm going to just sew on some of these multicolored leaves in between the houses. Next, I'm just gonna hot glue on this self-adhesive strip of Velcro. And I can't put it too close to the bottom of the page. I need to leave a little bit of space there so that I can still stitch around the border when I attach the back side of the page and the binding piece. And I can't, that needle on the sewing machine will not go through dried hot glue. So that's why I need to put it a little bit above the bottom. And then I'm gonna hot glue on some self-adhesive Velcro dots onto the backs of the birds so that the birds can be attached along the bottom of that Velcro strip. Lastly, this is optional. I have these cute little forest themed animal buttons. So I'm gonna just sew them on by hand with this super thick um, needle and felt, and uh, sorry, thread. And then last but not least, we're going to grab another 8 inch by 8 inch sheet of felt. I'm going to wrap that in some really cute forest animal themed fabric. And then I'm going to attach that to the back. I still have to cut my 3 millimeter felt for the border piece. Um, I just stick it between the front and back sheets of felt. And then that is what I use to connect the pages. Oh, one other quick thing that I always do that I forgot to do, I always do this with um, when I sew buttons on. I, pl I put a bunch of <clears throat> hot glue on the uh, knots just to help keep it really super, <clears throat> sorry, I got a frog in my throat apparently, just to help it keep it really secure on there so that those buttons never come off. So it's super thick thread and then it's also knotted and hot glued on the back. Okay, let's go ahead and sew around this border. Now normally I also use my heavy duty hole punch to put two holes in the binding piece so that I connect pa can connect pages together. But I have my hole punch in the car and it's raining out really badly right now so I'm not going to go get it. But that is the page so little kids can take their little birdies. They just stay attached with the Velcro and they can tuck them into their um, corresponding colored birdhouse. And even though I didn't come up with the idea of this activity page, um, like the concept of it, I love my design. I love that it just it just worked out really well in terms of the cuts and being able to put it together quickly. And I think it's just really cute. For those of you who are interested in the cost of this page, let me outline how much each thing costs for all the materials that you see here. I'll start with the thread to sew the page together it runs me about 10 cents. The hot glue, the mini hot glue stick, sticks run me about 20 cents. The felt to cut all the pieces totals about $2. That's based on the assumption that you can get a 12 inch by 12 inch sheet of stiff Korean 1.2 millimeter felt for $2, which I do have available on my website if you're interested. The front 8 inch by 8 inch sheet of felt is my nicer stiff Korean felt. That's 90 cents, also available on my webpage. Um, the back page, the back sheet of felt, um, is from Amazon. It is cheaper. So for that back sheet of felt and the fabric that I wrap around it, as well as the binding piece, the red binding piece that you see, that totals about a dollar. For the three buttons and the thread to sew those three buttons on, that's 30 cents. Um, and the Velcro dots total me five cents and the Velcro strip is about 35 cents. So that totals $4 and 90 cents. I'm going to add a 30 cent fee for my Cricut cutting mats that totals $5 and 20 cents. That does not include the cost of my Cricut, my sewing machine, uh, the craft show, things like that. So the total cost of this page is $5 and 20 cents. It took me about 20 to 25 minutes to make it. Okay, hope that helps you guys. I will see you in the next video.